What's going on, America? This is Kevin and Kevin's Corner, trying to make some sense out of nonsense. And here's a moment where I had to just stop in the middle of what I was doing and make a video because I'm watching the Laura Ingram show and everybody's talking about Kanye West. And of course, this is a big topic right now because the people on the left are trying to pre prevent a wave from taking place. See, they don't want this to be like some type of virus. They don't want it to become contagious. So they want to nip it at the bud when it comes to a black person who actually has some following and some name notoriety that decided to support Donald Trump. So they're doing whatever they can to try to stifle him, to shame him. And, you know, I ain't going to even lie to you. I don't know Kanye West's political background views or any of that. In fact, he hasn't even talked about that stuff. He's just talking about he supports Donald Trump, and he did mention some things about President Obama and his efforts in the last, what, his eight-year term not doing anything in Chicago. But when it comes down to a lot of different policies, I don't know where Kanye lands, but what I do know is that his decision to openly defy the monopoly that the left have on the minds, and I'm not going to say on black people. See, it's not about the body. It's about the mind. OK, so the left has a monopoly on the minds of the black people. Soon as one of black people just decide, man, I'm breaking rank. It's like a, a, a switch goes off in, in a large group of uh, minorities heads and they're just like, uh oh, like robots. We must attack Kanye West immediately. They just stop what they're doing. Like, I'm going to stop everything, start tweeting. I'm hitting Facebook. Girl, did you hear what Kanye did? I loved it at him when he was saying, well, he was kind of crazy then. He was crazy, but I still kind of liked it, you know. I like. I would prefer him to be crazy, be, be, but I, I just can't deal with a Trump supporter, okay? That's too far. So what's happening here is you're seeing a lot of black people push back because that's just what they've been programmed to do. And been brainwashed to think that Donald Trump is the source of all evilness. And they're using all these dirty tactics to try to get Kanye to come back to the, the plantation. See, right now he's the runaway slave. He's O.J. Simpson in uh, Roots. He's Kunta Kente when he was running, okay? And so they got the hound dogs out chasing him, the liberal media, uh, a large amount of the black community. And they're doing everything they can to sway this man back now. Let me start off by saying it's not to me. It's not just about supporting Kanye West, Candace Owens or any of them. What this has done is revealed what's really going on. That's all this has done. It is it's showing how on the left, everybody claims that they are open minded, tolerant, and they want fairness and equality and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, they are guilty of what they accuse accuse the right of doing Donald Trump's a dictator and he's trying to stifle freedom of speech. But yet when you say, Hey man, I'm a Donald Trump supporter. Shut up. You're not allowed to say that. Yeah. Donald Trump's evil. And, and, and you know what? Donald Trump, he's a racist and a sexist and he's trying to be a dictator and, and he's, he's, he's trying to enslave us all. And yet at the same time, when Donald Trump says, I believe and support the first and second amendment, people should be able to keep their guns. The left is screaming, Donald Trump needs to be taking all the guns away. And I'm going, well, y'all make up y'all mind. He can't be a dictator and also tell people to keep their guns at the same time. So you see the logic of the left, how it doesn't make any sense. Liberal logic always contradicts itself. It's crazy because you know why? It's not based off of logic. It's based off of emotions and emotions do what up and down like a roller coaster. So when it benefits them, then Donald Trump's a, an evil genius and a mastermind because of the Russia collusion theory. But yet when it doesn't benefit him, he's an idiot. He doesn't know anything. See, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But let me get back to what I was talking about. I want to read a tactic from somebody. It's hurt because I love John Lent. All of. Me, love, all of you. <sighs> Sorry. But John is wrong in this case, okay? And he has fallen victim of this trap that most, a lot of black people and entertainers are victims of. 
They are almost, and so I think to become famous, you have to sell out to the liberal left. They're like, yo, we ain't going to let you in this club unless you agree to believe in all of our liberal ideas. And if you don't, you keep your mouth shut. That's all. That's what we want you to keep it. Don't you get out there and just sing. That's all we want. So John Legend calls himself looking out for his friend. He's concerned about Kanye. So he texts him and he says, hey, it's JL. I hope you're reconsidering aligning yourself with Trump. OK, so now uh, you plan size. OK, um, if you're down with us, you know, how can you be down with him and also down with us? So it's an alliance thing right now. You know, the division that the left is always pushing in America, either it's black or white. Like, yo, if my husband is a conservative and I'm a liberal or vice versa, y'all can't live in the same house. Or Republicans, Democrats can't talk. This whole division thing. Right. So it says you're way too powerful. And see, that's where it comes down to. He said the key word. If you was just Kevin, if you was just some random brother on the street, cracked out, but still supporting Donald Trump, scratching, itching, talking about Donald Trump, man, he's going to make America great again. They wouldn't even care. But because he is way too powerful and influential to endorse who he is and what he stands for. Now, here's what I don't get. First things first, this reveals the reason why they're attacking Kanye West, because they know that he's way too powerful and way too influential. Secondly, he's saying to endorse what he stands for. So please, oh wise one, Johnny, Johnny Stevens, because I know your real name. Look here, Johnny, would you please tell me how in the world do you know what Donald Trump stands for? Are you talking about the policies that are dictated to you by, say, the liberal media or the Democrats? Please tell me what does he stand for? And it says, as you know, what you say really means something to your fans. Mm -hmm. So now here comes the shaming. Here comes the let me just let me show you what you got to lose here. OK, see what you say really means something to your fans. And let me give you the translation. We don't want your fans starting to think outside the box. We want your fans thinking that you're aligned with all of us in our think tank, you know, our group think. Yeah. We don't want them to know that there's a couple of us out here that don't agree with the flop. That's what we don't want. So you need to realign your fans with uh, all of our ideas, not your own. OK, and you just keep that to your personal self. Yeah, that's what he's really saying. Then he says they are loyal to you and respect your opinion. And that's why I'm attacking you, Kanye. That's what he didn't say. See, I'm, I'm embellishing now. But that's the translation because you have the ability and influence to make people reconsider how they've been viewing politics and President Trump. OK, we got to stop that because they respect your opinion. Now, if they didn't, if you was the type of black man who supported Donald Trump and all the black people looked at you like, man, this dude ain't really a brother anyway. Man, this cat, he don't know nothing about the struggle. You know what I'm saying? He probably come from hot. He up in the Beverly Hill. Man, this dude ain't really black. Then you can cast him off as a sellout. Cast him off as a... Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Now, you can cast him off as just whatever. Man, don't even worry about that dude. He ain't down with the struggle. But when a guy like Kanye or myself, you know, I'm a real brother... When people like that embrace and support either President Trump or conservative values or the Demo uh, Republican Party, that's a real problem. It's a problem for the Democratic Party. It's a problem for the liberal media. And it's a problem for Hollywood, entertainment, and so on and so forth. But look at this. It even goes further. He says, so many people who love you feel so betrayed right now. Like what? They, they feel like... Because he embraced Trump, somehow their loyalty has been violated. I didn't know that your political views was tied to everybody else in America. I mean, it ain't like him and his fans made wedding vows. Last I checked, it was this, I like your music and I'm going to buy it. That's all. It wasn't no, do you take Kanye West to be your awfully wedded uh, musician for the rest of your life to support and hold and Kanye do you take all your fans to be your loyal servants and do you no it wasn't like that this is a will for participation that doesn't rely on your political views but Don, uh, John Legend's trying to make it seem like it does they feel so betrayed right now because 
They know the harm that Trump's policies cause. I'm sorry. What harm is that? Could you, could you break that down to me? What harm has he caused? What can a black person right now out there? Let me look. Um, so, can somebody out there call in, phone me, email me and say, you know what? Since Donald Trump has been elected, all of those rumors and all of those speculations we said was going to happen. It happened to me. I was asleep one night. They bust right in my house, drug me out, put a hood on my head. I woke up on the boat being sent right back to Africa, just like we said it was going to happen. Nothing has happened. What policies are, is he talking about? See, this is that false, that fear that they try to create. Remember I said fear, false evidence appearing real. It is telling you stuff is happening. And yet you're looking around like, but I don't see it. But for some reason, since you seem so convincing, I'm going to buy into it. And that's what they do to you. So he says, so many people who love you feel betrayed right now because they know the harm that Trump's policies cause, especially to people of color. I'm sorry. I'm black. My taxes, my tax break was great. My company gave me a bonus. I feel a lot safer under Trump's watch because Kim Jong-un now wants to negotiate. Um, I feel like our borders are going to be more secure if the Democrats will get out the way and stop playing political games and trying to increase their voter base and let him do his job by protecting the flock. OK, I feel a lot better with Trump on the wheels of steel for the simple fact black unemployment has went down. If they would let him really get into Chicago like he wanted to, you know, I'm I'm assuming the crime rate would go down with a little more policing and reinforcement in Chicago. But the Democrats, they won't let that happen. Now, nah, they can't give credit to Trump that he was able to solve the crime issue in Chicago. They'd rather young black men keep getting killed than to let Trump bring a solution that might shame them and show that they really ain't putting forth an effort to save black lives. But yet black lives matter. Now, getting back to what I was saying. He says, don't let this be a part of your legacy. You're the greatest artist of our generation besides myself. He probably didn't put that in there. And then he goes on to say, no, Kanye. Now, this is what I like. You ready for the uppercut? See, I'm going to break this video up into two sections because, see, I don't want to. He hits him with this. I love you, John. See, this is that tough love right here. All right. I ain't going to agree with you just because you my boy. See, this is how they get you. They send people who they feel got a relationship with you that's going to move you deep down on the inside. This is how the left play games. They want you to get all in your feelings. Yeah, you might not respond to a brother off the street, but if they send a cousin, a friend, your manager, your publicist, somebody like that to, to talk to you, are you okay, honey? All of that stuff. Then maybe, just maybe, you might break down and reconsider your position. Mm -hmm. And... He says to uh, Johnny Legend, Johnny Stevens, he says, I love you, John, and I appreciate your thoughts. He didn't even rip him up and say, man, shut up. Don't be coming at me like this. He said, hey, freedom of thought. He said, I appreciate your thoughts. Now, this right here is a good approach. I appreciate your thoughts. You bringing up my fans or my legacy is a tactic. Once again, hopefully all the black people watching this video, your eyes go and open wide open. That's what they're doing. It's a tactic. They probably was on the phone like, Johnny, can you help us? You got to reel your boy in. He's he's going to ruin it for us. We do something. Look, haven't we supported you, John? Haven't we? Do something. We can't have a black guy getting out of the line. Call him. Yeah. So now he says, look here, man. You're going to, uh, he said, Br you bring it up my, my, um, my fans. Or my legacy is a tactic based on, here it is, fear. False evidence appearing real. Now, here's what's crazy. If people have an open mind and they're really tolerant, they're able to respect Kanye West's political or personal beliefs and separate that from his music. Long as his, he ain't out there saying, you know what, I hate all white people. I hate all, I hope all about that. If he's not saying that and all he's doing is supporting an American and an elected president, he's saying, hey, I love him. I ain't got no problem with him. I think he's doing a good job. Yet, John Legend's trying to make this seem like this is a damnable sin. Like, you know what? It's going to ruin everything you ever did. It's going to unravel it. And nothing you ever did will matter if you continue in this path. And um, 
Kanye exposes him and he says, all of this is based on fear used to manipulate, in the words of Mr. Brown, off of Meet the Browns, manip your dip. Cora, you trying to manip a dip me? Yeah, John is trying to manip a dip Kanye West right here. And manipulation is witchcraft. So he says, fear used to manipulate my free thoughts. That's what it comes down to. Now, like I said, I don't know where this is going with Kanye West. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and start saying, oh, man, he's uh, make America. He's down with us and this and that. But what I can say, based off of this private text message, it makes me believe a little more that he's not just throwing this out there for promotional reasons. He's just he's talking to a friend right now and he didn't bend. He didn't, you know, man, you offended me, nothing. He just kindly said, look, man, I appreciate all that, but I'm going to expose what you really are doing right now. So don't, that what he basically said, don't do this again. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I, I peeped it. I see where you're going with it. Don't do it again because all you're doing is manipulating me. And if you come back with that, it's going to further confirm that that's what you're up to. Okay. And I'm trying to tell all of America right now, that's what's going on with the Democrats, with ignorant Minority people who are mad over this whole situation and think they're really trying to help this man. No, you, we got to do something, Kanye. We losing him. He must be crazy. And what really makes me mad is how the left is digging up his past and trying to say, well, apparently he can't be in his right mind because he almost lost it uh, back in the day. So this is just an effect of what happened back then, you know, as if the man is crazy. Sound like a pretty sane man right here as I'm reading this. OK, now you can listen to Kevin. Kevin's Corner. All right. Now, if you like this video, hit like, share it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Check out my last video about YouTube. OK, they playing games. All right. They probably going to demonetize this one, too. But you can support Kevin's Corner by clicking on a link in the bottom. Find me on Twitter, Facebook. Check me out on Wednesday nights, 730. My live radio blog talk show. God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.